I have made it to the all famous Dong Swan Center. The uh, mini Vietnam here in uh, take a guess where Berlin. Isn't that uh, isn't that quite strange? So it's like a huge Asian center where you can buy like uh, different clothes and things that you need. Let's go check it out. I'm going to turn the camera around here. It's pretty dodgy. I feel kind of uh, out of place. But uh, anyways, probably the only blondie here. But if you check what I mean, it literally is uh, mini Vietnam in the middle of Germany. So they got like different halls. All loads of crap you can buy inside. Let's take a walk through here. Ah. Here is the first uh, hairdressing place. Got uh, nail salon. Got a hair salon. Hello. So you can literally buy like uh, anything in this place. It's pretty mad. I've been here before. This isn't my first time. But I'm, uh, I'm here to get a haircut because as you can check my... My hair is um, pretty... Pretty in need of a haircut. Let's turn this around. What's in here? We've got like a clothing shop. Selling different clothes. Another hairdresser. Hair salon. How much? Haar Schneiden ohne Waschen. 7 euros. So a haircut without washing for 7 euros. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's the different styles you can get. What do you think about the store one? I think that's a, <laughs> that's a good one for today. To freshen me up, what do you think? There's just so much going on, so excuse me if I'm not uh, paying much attention to the camera. Hello. Here, yeah, music, stay away from the music. Another hair salon, nail salon, nail styling team. Oh, it's crazy, I feel like I'm, I'm not in Germany here, yeah? it's mini Asia. Another hair cutter, hair salon, hair room. Clothing store. Another clothing store. I think that guy, uh, that guy in the hair salon, wanted me to stop filming. But I'm a, I'm a bad boy. I will just walk away. I don't give a fuck about that guy. <laughs> bad boys for life. So yeah, as I was saying, you can see that I am in need of a haircut. But I'm trying to find a good place where they allow me to film in here because apparently they are a little bit strict with that. Okay, let's take a look in here. Hello. All is good. All is good. What's up? I don't know if you can tell, but there is like a, quite a strange atmosphere in here. Like as soon as you pull out the camera, the people are like, don't point that shit at me, bruh. Oof. 
All fancy, shiny shit you can buy in there. It's uh. Let's keep, uh, let's keep moving. Let's keep, uh, let's keep moving. Find another hole where I can find a good place to get my hair cut. There's a whole bunch of these holes, so we need to find the right one. So awkward, people are just staring at me like, like they've never seen a white guy before. Probably lower it down. Keep my voice down. Probably gonna get killed or kidnapped here. Let's see what's in here. Where do I find a place to get my hair cut? Where they are not gonna act all weird. Pretty strange. Come on, Look. man. I just got stopped. I was told you can't fucking film in there. Motherfucking Germany and they're fucking filming. Prohibitions. Let's go see what I can find over here now. These motherfuckers. Can't film anywhere in this son of a bitch. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that. This is the thing about Germany, you know, like, you can't film anywhere. I'm pretty pissed, but I'm gonna soldier on. I'm gonna look for a place and I'm gonna ask them if I can film because I'm a fucking defiant motherfucker. So let's see what we can get being as sneaky as possible. Sneaky, 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 very nice. All right, I uh, I found a place where I can film myself getting a haircut. So I tried like three different places, but I finally found one. Jeez, it was uh, harder than I thought. So, yes, I'll show you a picture. You can do like uh, something like this. Yeah, something like this or this. Okay. Well, I hope you guessed that right. Let's see how this goes. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm on my best behavior here, guys. Because I don't want to uh, ruin my chances. the most uh, awkward haircut that I've uh, ever had in my life.
it's possible it's möglich uh, hier etwas mehr a uh, little bit more yeah okay okay i'm super nervous to see what this uh see what this looks like but i think my guy got it good Going for like a type of uh, mohawk thing. Looking cool, looking cool. I am getting the top uh, top treatment here, guys. Good music, good music. Is it possible a bit more here? No, no, so much. A little bit, sorry, a little bit uh, more here. You know. This was the fastest haircut I have ever had. Fifteen minutes. Perfect. Thank you, boss. So this uh, haircut originally cost seven euros or something. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Okay. Where do I pay? <laughs> yeah, perfect, thank you so much. I can give you and 10 for, yeah. 10 for him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's for you. Thank you. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. Bye bye. So uh, it cost uh, seven euros originally, but I I gave the man a ten euro tip because he was a good sport. I'm gonna turn off the camera now because they're gonna come tell me that I can't film. So how does it look, guys? First time I've uh, rocked a uh, mohawk like this. What do you think? Tell me what you think from the good old famous Dong Swan Center here in the middle of Germany, Berlin. Okay, I don't 
Mini Asia. Catch you guys later. I'm signing out. So I was uh, very nervous filming in there because everybody was like on edge, you know? Because you know the strange rules, you're not allowed to film inside there. Everybody was like looking at my hand and stuff, so I was, I was going as sneaky sneaky as possible, but I don't know. It's not the same when you can, uh, when you can film freely, you know, and nobody's watching you like you're the FBI or something or the Stasi. It's kind of lame. But it was worth a try. I mean, uh, whatever. Lame ass German, German laws, you can't film anywhere. But I, I hope I got something. I hope it just looks else. So we'll see. I forgot to say this place burnt down like uh, two months ago. This place burnt down, but now it's, uh, it's back in action. So, yeah. yeah. I uh, got to mention why there were so many. Vietnamese people in that area of Berlin. Well, it's because um, when Berlin was divided into two, west and east, um, the communist side invited all their commie friends from Vietnam over to Berlin, and that's how the community started. So. Uh, that's pretty much the history behind why there's so many Vietnamese people in the eastern part of Berlin. Now we have to take the next train. <laughs>